This is Video Lancer, and I have good news for Premiere Pro users. Now all effects from Adobe After Effects are available directly in Premiere Pro. In this video tutorial, I'll show you how to upgrade your regular version of Premiere Pro to the most advanced version. Although in fact, this is not an upgrade. This is simply the advanced Premiere Pro package I made in my free time just for fun. All effects from the package you can animate between two keyframes. And if that's not enough for you, you can use expressions to animate. Yes, in this package, expressions are available directly in Premiere Pro. To use the advanced Premiere Pro package, we additionally need to install the Motion Pro 4 plugin that you can install via Creative Cloud Desktop. Drag the package file to the Motion Pro and wait for installation. Now everything is ready to use. But before we continue, I would like to recommend to you my other Premiere Pro products. Visit my website, motionbro.com. Here you will find thousands of ready-to-use transitions that will take your video editing to the next level. Using the handy Motion Pro plugin, transitions are applied in a few clicks. Just select the two clips you want to connect and click Apply. In addition, you can add one of over 50 sound styles for each transition. Activate the Motion Pro sound effects pack and make your video even more epic. Try our free and premium video presets right now. Motion Pro, creative assets for video designers and editors. Well, let's start the tutorial. Run the Motion Pro plugin and activate the Advanced Premiere Pro package. In this section, you can find the same effects categories found in After Effects. In this category, I have added some custom presets that are not found among the standard After Effects presets. So let's look at the categories of effects in more detail. Aberrations There are several chromatic aberration presets in this category with fully customizable parameters. Blurred Vignette With these presets, you can add a blurry vignette effect that allows you to focus on a specific object in your video. Camera Here are a couple of camera presets imported into Premiere Pro from After Effects. We will look at the camera preset in more detail a little later. Shake With these presets, you can easily add a shake effect to your video. All shaking parameters are fully customizable. Blur and Sharpen This category has many different blur and sharpen effects, including effects that use a depth map for blurring. There is also a camera blur effect, but you should not compare it with the same name effect in Premiere Pro because the difference is huge. Here you can set the depth map, which will allow you to adjust the depth of field. Distort there are a large number of different distortion effects in this category. Let's look at the most interesting of them. Bezier Warp. This effect will distort the image using 12 points of Bezier curves. Bulge. Similar to the standard Spherize effect, but with more advanced settings. CC Flow Motion. An interesting effect that infinitely tiles and distorts the original image between two points. CC Lens a more convenient analog of the standard lens distortion effect. CC Page Turn The effect is similar to the one of the same name in Premiere Pro, but in comparison, it looks much better. Displacement Map Effect displacement of the image by the map. Optics Compensation Another advanced analog of the standard lens distortion effect. Warp there is a similar effect in Photoshop. It allows you to distort images according to the shapes from this list. Generate. This category contains presets with simple generate effects. Some of them have analogs in Premiere Pro, and we will consider only the most useful ones that are not among the standard effects. Advanced lighting. Realistic lighting effect with many parameters that can be customized and animated. CC Light Burst an effect that generates rays based on the brightness of the original image. CC Light Rays, an effect similar to light bursts, but generating rays from a given area. 
Keying. This category can complement the standard keying tools in Premiere Pro. The most powerful of these effects is key light. I will talk about the possibilities of this effect in more detail in one of the following video tutorials. Perspective. This is a category of presets with perspective effects, such as 3D cylinder and sphere. Simulation. In this category, there are presets of various simulations. In my opinion, the most interesting of these effects is CC Particle World. Here, as a particle, you can use a custom image and then animate the particle flow using keyframes or expressions. Stylize Most of the effects in the Stylize category are similar to the standard effects in Premiere Pro, but we will consider only the most interesting of those not among the standard effects. Cartoon a preset that will add a cartoon effect to your video. Burn. Transition with burnout effect. CC glass. Liquid glass effect for your video. Hex tile. Hexagonal honeycomb tiling effect. CC Kaleida. The preset with which you can make kaleidoscope effects. Transitions. In this category, two dozen simple transitions with customizable options. I note that I made a separate free basic transitions pack from these same effects. The transitions in this pack are completely ready to use, and you can apply them to your videos in one click. Next, I will show you how to use all these effects in your Premiere Pro project. To apply a preset, select the clips to which you want to add the effect and click Apply. To apply an additional effect on top of the one already added, select the preset layer and apply the effect on it. The bottom effect layer can be switched off. To customize the effect, open the preset sequence and select this layer here. Open the Essential Graphics panel. Here you can customize all available effect parameters. For effects with a similar point control, you can temporarily switch on this checkbox for convenience. Some presets may have by source or by map in their names. The difference between these two types of presets is that for presets by map, a custom texture is used. For by source presets, the same image you applied the effect is used as the map. In the Advanced Premiere Pro package, each preset is a regular Mogurt file converted from After Effects, and in this file, it is impossible to set keyframes for effects controls. However, I have developed a workaround that, despite the limitations, will allow you to animate the effects from the preset package. So, select the preset layer and go to the Essential Graphics panel. For effects that can be animated, there is an additional tab for Animation Settings. The value set here will be the starting keyframe of the animation. The value set in the Animation tab will be the end keyframe. If you try to change the value now, nothing will happen. For the animation to work, you need to select an animation preset from this list. Here are the most popular types of animation interpolation between two keyframes. If you select the Linear preset, then the animation will be uniform from start to finish. The Ease In, Ease Out, and Ease Ease presets will smooth out the start and end of the animation. Smooth Ease presets will make the animation as smooth as possible. The Swinging preset will allow you to make an animation with a swing effect at the end. The Bounce preset animates objects with a bounce effect. And finally, Cubic will slow down the animation in the middle of the way. By default, the animation lasts 2 seconds, starting at frame 0. You can change the timing of the beginning and end of the animation using these two sliders. But first, for clarity, temporarily enable the Show Play Bar checkbox. Now, in the Program panel for the current parameter, this animation scale is displayed. The green scale is the range between two keyframes. This red marker is the time indicator for the current frame. This way, you can visually see where the animation starts and where it ends.
Next, I will show you how to animate effects without any keyframes using After Effects expressions. Open the Animation tab and enter your expression here. Perhaps the simplest and most useful expression I know is Wiggle, where the first value is the oscillation frequency and the second is the amplitude. If you are unfamiliar with expressions and don't know how to create them, try doing it via chat GPT. In the same way, I made some ready-to-use expressions for you. For example, this expression will rotate the position of the effect around the axis. This expression creates a smooth, repeating shear effect. With this expression, you can create an elastic fading animation. Next, we will look at a practical example and create a similar 3D screen effect. Once on my channel, there was already a lesson on creating a 3D screen in Premiere Pro, but this time it will be much easier to create this effect. So create a full HD sequence and import the screen capture footage here. In the Motion Bro plugin, go to Custom Presets, Camera. Apply the camera with Aberrations preset to the screen capture footage. Open the preset sequence to customize its effect. It has all the same camera controllers as in After Effects. Let's set the camera tilt. To do this, change the angle of the axis in the orbit parameter. Now let's set the camera position. Additionally, you can change the FOV value to have less perspective distortion. To hide these holes, you can increase the zoom, or as a workaround, increase the edges of the image using the Holder Tile option. Let's add a little shake effect to the camera. To do this, insert a wiggle expression in the rotation animation parameters. Also, insert the same expression for XY position. Now let's animate the camera. Move forward a couple of seconds. In the Animation tab of the Orbit parameter, select the Ease Ease preset and change the camera tilt angle. To avoid confusion, copy and paste the starting animation values here. Also, change the values for the position of the camera. Let's move the animation a bit along the timeline. To do this, temporarily show Play Bar for animated parameters and change the values for the start and end of the animation. Now let's add Depth of Field. Go to the DOF tab and enable it. Adjust the starting depth of field value. Then also animate the parameters for the ending. And finally, let's refine the chromatic aberrations to match the depth of field better. Ready? Well, that's all. Subscribe to my channel so as not to miss my new video tutorials and products for motion design. It was Video Lancer. Bye.